This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, Meek Mill might have earned his way onto Rock Nation after all because he outsold his own boss. Uh, his own boss, Rick Rouse, only did 30K. That's not a boss-like number because Meek Mill did, what, 90,000 the first week, right? And we thought that was bad, but 30K is even worse, okay? Um, and you're on a major. It's not indie, okay? So, uh... Here's the thing. Meek Mill was the student. Rick Ross was the teacher. Well, now Meek Mill has elevated to teacher <laughs> when it comes to the music. Now, I do say Meek Mill should have kept it real with Rick Ross and not outed him online and uh, not been so thirsty to get down with Jay-Z and everything and like totally disrespect Ross because Ross probably would have put him onto a lot of other plays. I don't think Jay-Z is going to put him on to as many plays, meaning like, you know, how to get money other ways, uh, be versatile. You know, Jay-Z is just like, yo, come over here and do the, you know, be, be an artist, you know, um, or try to run a label. But Meek's, Meek hasn't put anybody on. But um, he did outsell his boats. Now, Rick Ross is so desperate to try to raise the sales of his albums that he's been talking a lot about 50 Cent. Which is ironic because in another interview, he was trying to make peace between Jeezy and Freddie Gibbs. I mean, you're trying to make peace in one instance. You know, you contacted Freddie Gibbs, you contacted Jeezy, you're trying to make peace. But then in the other instance, you're choosing violence with 50 Cent when there's no beef there. These guys actually have a problem, Jeezy and Freddie Gibbs. They actually did business that didn't work out together. You and 50 Cent don't even know each other. <laughs> You did, you started dissing him because of a look at an award show or something. You, you, it was weird. It's a weird beef. He just chooses to pick on Fifty Cent because he knew Fifty Cent will respond, and he did. And Fifty Cent took the bait, which helped Rick Ross raise his status back in two thousand nine, and then he came out with BMF. Now, that takes us to where he disrespected Meech. So, what did Fifty Cent do? He took the BMF series script when it was failed at another, uh, it was at another production house. They never got to it. It expired and 50 Cent got the rights to it. 50 Cent took the rights to it, started casting for it. It took him four to five years to put this together. Don't forget. Okay. But it was well worth the wait, I must say. Now, what's super, super awesome about this BMF script. First of all, you know, Big Meech is involved, right? He's making sure everything's accurate and everything. 50 Cent was adamant about Little Meech playing his father after he met him. And I think that is the coolest thing out of everything. Because how proud is Big Meech for his, like, how about a 360 right there, you know? A turn of events, you know? You did some things that did land you in jail, but in turn, it gave your son an opportunity to become a legitimate superstar. Uh, which could leg legitimize, as Meech says often, legitimize the BMF brand and family. Now, you got Rick Ross doing interviews, and he's asked about the BMF series, and instead of just saying, hey, you know, he, t he did try to say, like, well, you know, I did that to support my homie Meech, but, you know, it only made 250 k for the whole episode. And he started, then he started just demolishing it, right? Now, any kind of slander towards the BMF series is disrespectful to Big Meech, a guy that you used his name to make a hit record. Him and Larry Hoover, you used their names to make a hit record. You owe them the respect. You know that his son is relying on this series to continue to be successful. And yet Rick Ross is out here slandering. Rick Ross is desperate to sell records. How much money you really make, you're like, you know, if you're really making money off those wing stops and everything, these album sales should not mean anything to you. But he makes a lot of money off the promotions, the Bel Air promotions, the Bamboo promotions, all the other promotions he does in a story. Without music, he doesn't get that promotion money. I don't know how many, yeah, I'm sure he makes plenty of money off the wing stops, but it's like, dude, don't be so desperate to sell albums that you start disrespecting 
other people. Yeah, if you're going to diss 50 Cent, say you're going to like wash him in a verse, it's cool. First of all, you're out here preaching peace with two other parties. You shouldn't even be talking negative about anything, but whatever. You know, 50 Cent does start up with Ross a lot, but I think he's still a little bit sour because he did not win that beef against Ross, let's be honest. It's all good, though. They're both successful in their own right. Um, I forgot to cycle through the pictures. <laughs> Um, anyways, I appreciate you guys. I'll check you guys in the next one. Um, I'm going to catch up with you. I got to get some sleep, man. I'm like so like, you know, when you don't get enough sleep, you get a little like down and depressed. That's how I feel right now. So I definitely need to catch a good six, seven hours right now. Just hit that like button, all that good stuff. I appreciate you guys. I will check you guys in the next one. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Peace.